guys, so I am going to be dipping some pretzels today, and all you need to dip these pretzels is just some of the big blocks of chocolate and some pretzels of your choice. I'm going to be doing rods and then the mini twist, and then I've got some sprinkles also. But I thought I'd just bring you guys along while I'm doing this because I have a story to tell you guys. So, um, for the ones that are friends with me on Facebook, I posted a post that said something about, um, it's not even 10 o'clock yet. Well, that was Saturday, and so I'm just going to tell you guys kind of what happened. So, Friday night, Willie decided to get me an early Christmas present, and he got me a dishwasher. So, we ran to Lowe's, and you guys know our closest stores, like big stores, we have a Walmart, a couple dollar stores some small stores like that in our local towns, but usually we have to drive an hour and a half to two hours away to get to the big stores. So we went to Lowe's and that was the closest store and it's about an hour, an hour and a half away. And so we went there and we went, they weren't closing yet, but it was definitely um, closer to closing time. And so they had trouble finding somebody to help us get the dishwasher that we wanted, which they didn't have the one that we really wanted. Um, I wanted one with the adjustable shelf on it, but that's not the one that Willie had planned on getting me. So that was fine. I'm just ready for a dishwasher. Um, the house came with a dishwasher, but it was not working. And then uh, we had a dishwasher at the the little house but it was a portable one then we bought a dishwasher off of an individual off of Facebook marketplace and got it installed and it didn't work um, it ended up running from like 7:30 to 5 in the morning so that one wasn't gonna work either so Willie said I'm just gonna buy a brand new one so he went online did the research uh, looked up the reviews and all that stuff and figured out which one he wanted to get me. And so, like I said, they didn't have that one. So we started looking at the other ones. And we decided to get one. Well, then they needed to get somebody to get it off the top rack in the back. So as we're waiting on somebody to do that, because we had to wait on this one guy to uh, get off lunch break. So as we wait, was waiting for that, we were looking at some different ones, and um, we found a couple other ones, but we decided to get this one. So he was available to help us, and he went and got one out of the back. And we were standing there by the door where they come out of the back at, and we heard this big boom. And Willie goes, I hope that's not our dishwasher. And I said, well, if it is our dishwasher, they'll just load it up and they'll send it home with us anyways. So we got it and the box had a little bit of a damage to it, but nothing major at all. I mean, you know, boxes aren't going to be perfect. So anyways, we got it home and then Willie was going to install it the next morning. We had a friend come over to help us install it and... Whenever they cut the bottom of the box open, the styrofoam was all busted. So, Willie's like, okay, that's fine. Let's just check it out before we install it. So, then, whenever they opened the front of it, they seen that they had some protective foam, or, or like some film over the front of the dishwasher. And so, Willie was joking about the film, and he's like, oh, I really like that color. And... He's like, maybe we should just leave the film on it. I was like, oh, that's fine. Well, then he decided, or he seen, like, on the front of it that the whole front end of the dishwasher was, like, creased in. Like, the whole door was just creased in. And then he looked at the bottom, and the whole um, drum or bin or whatever it's called, it had a crack in it. So he called back up to Lowe's. And talked to the guy, and the one that we was looking at originally, they already told us that it would probably be the first of the year um, before they could even think about ordering it, let alone seeing if they would have them then. So we decided to go with a different one. Um, so they said, and they had two last night of these. So they said, 
br you can bring it back, but we don't have that exact one in stock, so we'll have to order it, and it could be a couple weeks for you guys to get it. So I told him, I said, that's fine, let's just go ahead and do that. Well, he started to look at um, Menards, and he found one at Menards, and so he's like, do you want to wait, or do you want to drive the two hours to Menards? And so I was like, well, we could just drive to Menards, which I understand, like, you know, the gas money to get up there. But since we took my little Jeep um, and it fit perfectly in there, it's not really that much more to drive the two hours. And we had a couple of things, and we don't get to go to Menards a lot. So um, it was just a quick little uh, trip that we could go up there and get the dishwasher. So we ended up taking it back to Lowe's. And I forgot the receipt at home, and so they started to give me trouble about returning it. And so, luckily, I was able to, I, like, if I needed to, I would be able to call a neighbor and have them go up and, you know, get the receipt and send me a picture if I needed to. But I ended up finding the receipt in my wallet, thankfully. So, we got that returned. And they're like, do you want to get another one here? And we're like, no, you guys don't have it in stock. We're just going to go to Menards. So we ended up going to Menards and getting the dishwasher with the adjustable racks. We saved $30 in the end. And if you hear the humming, that's the dishwasher running right now. Um, and it was pretty well exactly what we wanted. I didn't want a lot of the features on it because that's just a lot more to go wrong. I just... Want to clean and dry the dishes. That's pretty well it. <laughs> so we ended up getting that. And that was a lot better um, of a deal and everything. So then before we left to go up there, since they have to test every single dishwasher before they sell them, they had left water in the lines. That way um, the fittings wouldn't break and rot and all that too. So, we ended up spilling water all over the living room floor, so we had to deal with cleaning that up. And whenever Willie was trying to, um, or before he started to put the dishwasher in, we went outside to check on all the animals. Because I heard that there was some wind, um, like I heard the wind on the front end of the house. So, we went out and checked everything. There was a few things blown over. Some of our Christmas decorations had fallen Willie's got some de decorations up on the front of the barn. And they fell over, and then we had some tin that took off. So we ended up fixing all that, and then that's whenever we noticed that one of our rabbit's cages was open. And so she was gone. So that was something else we had to deal with. Luckily, uh, Lucas was able to find her. And we got her safely back in her cage. She wasn't too far away from her cage. She was just hiding from the rain. So she stayed dry. And, and she's fine now. So that's all good. Um, and then the other thing that happened was our new chicken coop that we got for Black Friday. We didn't stake it down because we didn't really think it would take off. Um, but come to find out, it would. So we had it trying to blow away so that let out all the chickens and ducks so we've got all of them put up except for four of them I think's out so we still have to catch them and put them all up so anyways interesting weekend we got the dishwasher all the animals are okay and everything was okay the kennel got bent a little bit but Nothing too bad at all. So, thought this would be an interesting story time for you guys. Haven't done too many story times lately. And I needed to do these pretzels. Willie was wanting some Christmas pretzels. So, thought I'd just come on and share with you guys how the weekend went.